Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Ivy Gate studio. This is Thomas Kincaid. Uh, you know, I've become known for this uh, sort of world of cabins and setting suns and the sense of rustic living. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these paintings, but if you think back on the many paintings that uh, people have enjoyed over the years, that feature that cabin, that rustic kind of theme. I guess it all started with my painting, End of a Perfect Day. There was something about that rustic setting, the sunset over that tranquil lake that struck people's imagination. So much so that I attempted a second painting in that series. Of course, the painting was called End of a Perfect Day too. That painting featured not only a rustic cabin, but in this case, a tranquil stream. We saw the canoe on the lower right of the composition, suggesting activities and the enjoyment of the natural setting. I followed that up with End of a Perfect Day 3, another painting that struck a nerve. To this day, it has been reprinted and reused by licensees around the world to suggest the tranquility of nature and the power of a life lived in simplicity. Then in 2005, I initiated what many believe is the quintessential Kincaid Rustic Mountain series. And of course, that series began with a painting entitled Mountain Retreat. Mountain Retreat enjoyed an enormous following from collectors, in part because it not only featured the majesty of a natural setting, but also included elements of wildlife. I followed Mountain Retreat number one with another painting in the Mountain Retreat series, this time entitled Mountain Paradise. The Mountain Retreat series became a phenomenon and continues to be amongst the best selling paintings ever. So I really had my work cut out for me to try to top that success, but I think I've done it. In fact, I'm proud to say that everyone who has seen what I'm about to unveil has commented that it is not only the best painting in the mountain retreat series, but it is quite possibly the best rustic natural landscape I've ever created. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you Nature's Paradise. Now, as we look at Nature's Paradise, I invite you to observe carefully the details that make this painting so unique. Of course, it all starts with the light. As we look into the cabin itself, we can imagine a family at peace. The cabin features a rustic stone fireplace, and of course, we see deer antlers mounted above the window, a reminder of previous adventures for the outdoorsman. Gathered around the cabin, we see elements of nature, of course, the wild turkeys that I've become known for. In fact, I'm so proud to be the official artist for the National Wild Turkey Association an honor that has allowed my paintings to be used to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars nationwide on behalf of the preservation of wild turkeys. In front of the cabin, we see a canoe, evidence that the lakes and streams of this nature's paradise are meant for exploring. Curious deer are beginning to engage your attention. They too are stopping to enjoy nature's paradise. The outdoorsman himself is now returning to his cabin in the woods. We see him in his flat bottom boat, perhaps after having spent a day on the beautiful pristine lake fishing and enjoying this setting. The large lake empties into a small pond, which is itself a microcosm of wildlife and beautiful elements of nature. We see the stream as it cascades over the rocks and fills the small pond. Another stream is coming into the pond at the left of the composition and we see two ducks preparing to land on the water but while on the stream itself other ducks have gathered and are swimming amongst the reeds. If you look carefully you'll see along the stream at the left of the composition a beautiful rainbow trout making its way up the cascade. At the far left of the composition you'll see two pheasants, a male and female, who look on the scene with great curiosity. At the lower right of the composition, you'll see a family of quail making their way across the grass. 
Above the cabin, we see Canadian geese soaring into the distance, perhaps on their way to migrate to the south. Far overhead, we see more geese in formation as their numbers are seen in silhouette against the setting sun. A hawk is beginning to soar, and we see him at the upper left of the composition. But the fun thing is, the discoveries don't just stop there. As you look carefully, you see even more details. For example, in the tree at the right of the composition, we see an owl perched in the branches. You gotta look carefully, but there he is, if you look. A squirrel is also evident if you look carefully on that same tree. Mountain trails lead into the distance. A stream is cascading down the mountain, resulting in a beautiful falls at the base of the mountain, leading right into our pristine lake. Of course, there are hidden ends in the painting as well. Take a look beneath my signature and you'll see the number eight. This year, there are going to be eight hidden ends in every epic painting. Again, the epic eight for 2010. Eight paintings, eight hidden ends in each painting. And of course, my favorite touch in the painting, the double rainbow that we see above the clouds. The rainbow is always a symbol of God's blessing. And to me, the rainbow suggests this truly is nature's paradise. Now, as you're enjoying all the wonderful small details in this painting, I want you to keep in mind some overarching aspects of this particular painting as well. For one thing, Nature's Paradise will be the last painting in the Mountain Retreat series. I'm sure you can see that Nature's Paradise, again, has superseded the two that came before and will stand as a landmark in the history of my personal rustic mountain cabin paintings. Another feature to keep in mind with this painting is that lovely sense of color and light that you see in this work. I used a cool palette, a sense of subtlety in the colors that recede into the distance, and yet great luminosity that highlights the edges of the animals and the edges of foliage. Again, uh, the paintings in this mountain retreat series are known for that wonderful sense of radiant light that seems to come from behind and illuminates all of nature and makes it seem to glow. I'm really convinced Nature's Paradise will be amongst the most dramatic paintings ever for a gallery presentation, especially featuring the famous Kincaid Light Show. As the lights begin to dim on the painting, you'll really see the warm tones emerging even more. The highlights on the edge of the foliage, the lights glowing from the cabin, and the reflection of lights in the stream and in the pond really take on a new dimension under the reduced lighting effect. Of course, the time of day changes, the mood changes, and the painting radiates. I hope you agree that Nature's Paradise is the quintessential Thomas Kincaid mountain rustic landscape setting. It has just been a thrill to work on this painting and it sets the stage for this year of epics. God bless.